The president, please be seated. The chamber is now in session. According to our schedule, this morning the chamber will hear Ce matin, il est prévu que la chambre the testimony of an expert witness, a psychological expert, expert un psychologue. Yes, requested by the Civil Party Council. De, uh, civil. In the graph here, can you report the attendance of Je the parties to the proceedings this morning? The graph here, Mr. Okay. President, the parties to the Monsieur proceedings. Le ចំណាយឯអ្នកជំនាញដែលត្រូវមកដល់សខីកម្មនៅក្នុងថ្ងៃនេះលោកវិជ្ជមណ្ឌិតឈឹមសុទ្ធិរាមានផតមានអ្ន
witness has no relationship of affiliation with the parties to the proceedings, the identity has been checked and verified. And he has already taken an oath. The president, good morning, Mr. Expert. Is your name Chim Sotira? Expert. Yes, my name is Chim Sotira. Question. How old are you? Response. I am 41 years old. Question. Question. Mr. Expert, please be reminded that you should only speak when the red light on the microphone is on so that your voice is properly recorded on the transcript. What is your current occupation? Question. Response. I am a psychological doctor and a the director Je suis of uh, Cambodia TPO. Question, where is your current Question. residence? Response, Réponse. I live at number 97 E1, Charles de Gaulle Street, or say 7 Mekara, Phnom Penh. President, Mr. Chum Sotira, as reported by the Graffi, do you have no relationship or affiliation with the parties to this proceeding? And before you, uh, before this chamber, you have taken an oath according to the Buddhist religion. Is this correct? Response, that is correct. Uh, look. Question. Are you also a psychological Question. professor que vous aussi at the university? À Response, Response, that is correct. Réponse, oui. Question. Question. Where did you finished your study. Is it in Cambodia? Où and so what year études? did you finish? Cambodge, et quelle année Response. Avez -vous votre I Réponse. finished my study in 1992. Obtenu mon diplôme en 1992. After you finish Question. your study in Cambodia, you continue to further your education, your postgraduate education in New South Wales uh, University uh, in Australia. Is this correct? Université Australienne, c'est exact. Response, that is correct. Réponse, oui. Question. Question. How long have you been practicing your psychological profession. Depuis quand pratiquez-vous? Response for about Réponse. 15 years Cela so far. Fait, uh, à peu près 15 ans. Question. What are Question. the reasons that motivate you to study this area of expertise? À vous spécialiser dans ce domaine. Response. From the beginning, I, did, I was not interested in medical or psychological area. However, after the Khmer Rouge regime, Cambodia had been destroyed in all aspects, and there were only a handful of doctors survived after the war. It is evident that people were traumatized plus, uh, throughout the nation and they required uh, the treatment and there was a great shortage of 
health care professionals that is one of the motivations for me to enter the medical area. I started in 1986 and finished my medical study in 1992. However, during that period of time, I never studied the psychological subject within the curriculum, as there was no professor or teacher survived the regime and who could teach at that medical school. After I started working in 1992, I became a surgeon and I experienced several patients who had trauma. Some patients committed suicide and the reason was probably because of the, their superstition as they believed, and when they went mad or they were psychiatric, they believed in tradition and superstition, but I strongly believed it could be treated medically. Therefore, in 1994, when the Oslo University of Norway established a program to train the Cambodian doctors, the young generation who wish to have that psychological expertise. And that's the opportunity for me to sit for the exam in 1994, and I started and finished it in 1998. The program was a joint adventure with uh, Oslo University of Norway and the medical department of Cambodia. At that time, there was no Cambodian professor. All the professors were foreign from the European countries and uh, some from Asian countries. Cambodia did not have any professor who could teach us at the time. And this is important for me because after the traumatization through wars and especially the Khmer Rouge regime, Cambodians were seriously traumatized and did not receive anything regarding the medical or psychological treatment. The president, you have already said that you you are a director of an organization called TPO Cambodia. TPO Cambodia. The question is, when was that organization established and what are the main activities in the support of the psychological trauma, especially those people who were traumatized during the Khmer Rouge regime? À la suite du régime Khmer Rouge. Response. TPO Cambodia TPO was established in 1994. The founder was the TPO International, which is the main office in Amsterdam, in Holland. The main purpose of the program was to respond to the needs, to the psychological needs and assistance. The social, physical, psychological impact on the Cambodian people who traumatized during the Khmer Rouge regime, including the post-traumatic stress disorder, in order to provide treatment to those people so that they would be able to be ordinary people who could sustain and make a, a living as ordinary people. It became a, an independent organization in 2000, and it was led by Cambodian people, and I became the director in 1992, in 2002, correct the interpreter. The main activities of the organization are to intervene the psychological assistance in the community as 80 or 90 percent of Cambodian people living in the community and it is hard for them to come to the hospital. So this program is to provide intervention in such regard. Also, 
It is to train the important resources in the at the community level so that they are able to determine the cause of trauma and to assist with those traumatized people within the community itself. We also disseminate information to the community regarding the trauma, the impact of trauma, so that they understand and seek appropriate solution and treatment. We also establish self-help groups, especially for women through the targets of domestic violence and for males who are addicted to alcohol. These two groups and interrelated it and we provide assistance to both groups and these are the impact inflicted upon the Cambodian people from the Khmer Rouge regime and throughout the various wars before that. We also provide counseling services to the victims who were traumatized psychologically or socially and we also provided treatment, psychological treatment in the means of uh, analyzing the, their trauma and provide the expertise to, for the treatment. TPO also has various uh, projects, namely to provide the socio-psychological treatment to the witnesses and victims who are going to provide testimonies to the, this, in this tribunal. That is all, Mr. President. Voilà. Tout, uh, je crois, the Président, President, pour ce qui concerne mon during the time of your research in this psychological expertise, as well as during domaine, uh, the time of your tenure as the director of the TPO organization, have you interviewed TPO, victims uh, of the Khmer Rouge regime, des victimes du régime Khmer Rouge? especially have you interviewed the victims of the S21 security office? Have you notamment rencontré des victimes de S21? Respond, yes, I have. Oui, effectivement. Question, based on Question. your expertise, psychological expertise, and your study and experience de de in this area, dans ce especially the psychology, uh, psychology of the victims and the various aspects challenged by the victimes, victimes as a result of the Democratic Kampuji regime. regime de Kampuji Have you anything or statements to show to the chamber regarding the psychology, the psychology of those victims? What do you want to say to concerning the characteristics of these victims? The chamber would like to know the challenges or the psychological impacts of the victims or the trauma or the post-traumatic disorder that they have experienced so far based on your area of this expertise. You may now proceed. Response. Thank you, Mr. President. First of all, I would like to say with the President's leave, to describe the general outsetting and overview before uh, I enter the specialized area regarding the, the, the victims, the traumatized victims. This is a main factor for us to understand the overall impact and the depth of the suffering experienced by the victims. Du régime sur les victimes et les souffrances encore ressenties par ces victimes aujourd'hui. The Khmer Rouge regime was a regime which destroys the entire infrastructure of the country, the social national fabric of Cambodia. In every aspect, Dans tous ces aspects. I could confidently say that uh, at a social level, family level, social and individual famille, level, in individuel. the social level, the Khmer Rouge regime total, destroyed every aspect of the state institutions, social, namely donc, schooling, markets, hospitals, marché, universities, les écoles, les universités. and everything else was 
almost destroyed. Tout a été presque entièrement détruit. The intellectuals, the well-educated, and those living in the urban areas were smashed. Ont été As a result, the Cambodian people uh, could not quoi? live in harmony uh, as they were forced dans to evacuate, forced labor and executed, and there was no sufficient service to provide to them, including shelter, medical treatment, or sufficient food. The people were divided into various groups. For instance, the new people, the best people, created an, an environment of fear or mistrust. And also the, the cultural distraction, the Mais religious distraction, and the ceremony distraction, and the elimination of belief, of greed, les ou ont été of the Cambodian people, interdites. had tremendous impact, tremendous psychological impact. impact people based their belief Les gens leurs as a means to solve problems Les gens se and sur to leurs seek pour meaningful pour un sens explanation of what happened logique à ce qui se passait for de all those regimes, including the Khmer Rouge regime. So the loss of their belief made them suffer psychologically euh, and when they had or encountered problems, they could not find any solution to, problème, to solve those problems, and the Khmer Rouge did problèmes. not allow them Le to Khmer practice their religion or to pay their homage to the religion. At the family level, the Khmer Rouge forced people not to live together in the family. Children were segregated from their parents. And we know for sure that the children at young age need a warm, caring parents. And they need uh, this care. However, the care has been deprived of from the children. And people were tortured, the food, ration were also deprived of. And this really caused uh, the traumatic event. And if the ch when the children grew up without any coping with the, these uh, effects, then they will experience the uh, the problems and uh, children were made to spy on their parents. Some children even uh, dare kill their own parents. This phenomenon has left the kind of bitterness the trace of bitterness for those children for many years to come. The Khmer Rouge um, has destroyed car les Khmer Rouge ont the individual health or well-being by way of forcing them to work de ces êtres very hard. They were not given proper shelters. People acharnée. on ne leur a lived pas in constant fear. Suffisamment salubre. Les gens and vivaient uh, dans une peur, this dans un état de peur constant. Made, uh, Et ce, pendant une longue période, traumatic event uh, and the, what we call the vécu des événements traumatisants post post-traumatic stress disorder. Ce syndrome de stress post-traumatique after the research uh, the professor Lyon the international director of the TPO conducted his research and based on the research among the five people of Cambodia two of them have developed the trauma and this is a high proportion of uh, the Cambodian Ceci population une uh, found uh, in the research uh, uh, population cambodienne qui 
and à 14 présenter des symptômes de trauma et 40% population, des Cambodgiens uh, with the age of over 18 has experienced uh, this uh, post-traumatic stress disorder et connaît des troubles de stress post-traumatique. So we can see that uh, the high number of uh, people who experience such a important traumatic event or the trauma is very high among the Cambodian people. And uh, I have uh, provided uh, the de la de la therapy est très to many Cambodian people who sought uh, this assistance uh, from our organization and many people have still experienced the problem, especially the event reoccurred during the daytime. Uh, and the victims told us that whenever it rains, they feel like crying because it recalls the time when, tortured, uh, when, when they were exposed to the sun and rain. And because of this, many people cannot really focus on their day-to-day -day work. And they even experienced some nightmares. A victim told us that he saw the death wife and children in his dream. And uh, uh, the wife the, and the children cried out for help, asking for justice in the dream. And uh, many victims shared with us that uh, every time in their dream they saw the, the Khmer who were chasing them, chasing to kill them. Ils voyaient so des the nice Khmer rouges qui leur couraient après pour, often qui les poursuivaient pour les tuer. Thin in the, the dream. And uh, people also experienced some kind of problem with uh, breathing. Ont également des problèmes de some respiration. Certaines victimes have some kind qui of ont dispression. vécu they are despaired. Ont, they don't want to live on and they find it difficult de to dépression struggle to hold on to life. S'accrocher à la vie. And à they lose à vivre, uh, the effort to parent uh, the children le sens de l'effort pour être des and parents children pour have to work double harder to et really les enfants doivent travailler encore plus dur help, uh, pour the soutenir, sick parents who soutenir aux besoins really traumatized les leurs parents qui ont subi ces graves traumas and because of this kind of traumatic Étant event they experience, uh, many end up uh, being addicted to alcohol, alcohol for example, like drink, and uh, some victims develop some physical conditions, for example, hypertension and chronic disease, uh, uh, because they uh, have experienced such trauma. Étant donné le fait que ces personnes ont vécu, connu ces euh, graves traumas. The Le président, président judges of the bench, je m'adresse au juge, souhaitez-vous poser des expert? questions à l'expert Madame la juge Sylvia Cartwright, je vous en prie. Thank you, uh, President. Je vous remercie. Dr. Sotiara, uh, I want to clarify uh, your specialist background, please. Avoir it's not completely clear to me, um, uh, and that may well be due to the translation. Uh, I understand you are a, a medical doctor, and that you have undergone postgraduate specialist training in psychology. Is that correct? Par la suite en psychologie. Est exact? But uh, response. Réponse. Of course, I undergone the medical 
Bien entendu, j'ai une suivi des cours de médecine à l'université de médecine de Phnom Penh et j'ai obtenu un, un diplôme de médecin. And later on, I undergone the Ensuite, I undergone the another course uh, in psychology j'ai suivi and une I autre graduated with a degree, degree in psychology in 1998. In 1999, I pursued education, the postgraduate education in New South Wales for another one year and a half. And I am now pursuing this postgraduate education in the Monash, in Melbourne, Australia, in the same field. Complémentaire du troisième cycle dans ce domaine à Melbourne, en Australie, Fellowship et j'ai Award. une bourse. J'ai obtenu une so bourse. So your specialist qualifications are in psychology, Votre uh, not psychiatry. Is that correct? Et bien la psychologie et non pas la psychiatrie. Est-ce exact? I think response. Uh, It is uh, probably the translation problem, Parce but of course my specialization is psychiatry. Moi, mon domaine de spécialité, c'est Thank la you. psychiatrie. Uh, and you have worked full time with the uh, victims of the Khmer Rouge Ray- 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 regime, avec les and of course du increasingly Khmer now Rouge. their children. Is that right? Plus plus vous avec, vous à avec des enfants. Est-ce exact? Response. I may not uh, catch your question. Could que you je n'ai please pas bien compris votre it? question. Je vous demandais de bien vouloir la répéter. Yes, I do apologize. I Question. just wanted to je clarify je that you have worked full time over recent si years au cours de ces with the années, uh, survivors of the Khmer Rouge regime avec and latterly their children Khmer as Rouge well. Is that correct? Avec les enfants. Est-ce exact? Uh, Response. I work mostly with the old aged people, and I have not concentrated on the, the work with the children. Je ne me suis pas concentré dans mon travail avec les enfants. And can I infer from your testimony? that one of the major issues leading to the severe traumatization of the people who lived through the Khmer Rouge regime uh, is the lack of adequate medical, psychological and psychiatric services for them during that period uh, and after it was finished. Am I correct in that assumption? Après la période Khmer Rouge, est-ce euh, exact? Réponse. Réponse. I think it is part. Je pense. That the severe traumatization of the victims uh, were contributed to the lack of adequate uh, medical services available because after the Khmer Rouge uh, there has not been um, adequate uh, services for coping or helping those people to cope with this, uh, these uh, problems. And I can say that uh, the Khmer Rouge was not adequate for coping with these problems. And I can say that the Khmer Rouge was not adequate for coping with these problems. Destroy the complete infrastructure at all levels, top down. I mean, from the uh, the collective level to the individual level. So this destruction has uh, damaged uh, the 
core foundation of uh, religion and uh, this severely affects uh, de la, uh, the religion people et ceci a eu un impact remedy grave and means to fight terribly and uh, some foreigners les, pro probably la mise en are in doubt de, why after 30 years or so demandent, se Cambodian people still suffered années, from this uh, traumatization and the answer is that uh, Cambodian people have not had the opportunities appropriate opportunity to be treated pas uh, due to the fact that uh, the étant donné services le fait que les services are inadequate and that many people are adaptés, very busy to earn the living to sont, ce qui les préoccupe, feed their families. So these people have been busy with their daily life and uh, that uh, this does not mean they, for, they are not traumatized but because they do not really have the opportunity to get themselves healed and one day this kind of traumatization will reoccur. trauma va ressurgir and uh, during the time of uh, their being so busy with their daily life they might forget the traumatization but their, this traumatization does exist with them and one day they will realize that when they reoccur uh, then it, they will need to uh, complete the uh, medical uh, assistance uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime people worked uh, so hard uh, and, uh, and then later on because they had to start from scratch, they focus too much on their daily life by forgetting the traumatization. However, since the establishment of the Khmer Rouge Tribunal, people now can uh, recall the past events and then they can really manage some time away from the, their being so busy with their daily life to concentrate on their mental problems. Peuvent mettre de côté le fait de subvenir à leurs besoins au quotidien et peuvent se concentrer à présent sur leurs problèmes mentaux. From uh, the court, car, uh, and the court can give them this kind of justice and truth to le help them cope with uh, their uh, trauma. But so far, they have not uh, achieved these uh, goals yet. Face et à, uh, Thank you. Se <coughs> sur I'm also interested in the impact of the Khmer Rouge regime on the generations that did not directly experience it or who were very young at the time. Rouge, ou, uh, Do you have any comment to make on uh, the impact of the conditioning of the people to stop uh, practicing their religion Le fait on the next generation de and also the impact on la the people who suivante, lived through the regime est, a été uh, sur les qui ont without an education qui what pas impact instruite. has that had on the next generation? Sur la génération qui a suivi? Paul Papoual Response. The impact on the people who did not live through the Khmer Rouge regime qui pas vécu le is also Khmer Rouge obvious because uh, this impact can be seen on uh, their family members. 
cet impact and uh, if we compare this regime to the holocaust uh, regime to sur les gens qui ont vécu ce régime et qui font partie de leur famille that, uh, si l'on the new generation holocaust on peut voir have que la génération by qui a the suivi traumatization a and the traumatic events experienced by les ter les their parents traumatisants in cambodia there has not been any study as yet to uh, in indicate uh, the impacts on the younger generation uh, in relation to the traumatic uh, events, uh, ce, des événements though they had not uh, gone vécu, through bien previously. Que ces personnes pas vécu, but I can say that uh, it is possible that, that the impact, uh, impact from uh, on the uh, older generation could be transmitted to the younger ones because a uh, Cambodian family is in the form of extended one and the people share the same roof uh, so it is unavoidable that uh, these impact will be affected uh, on the, the rest of the family members because the, the eldest sibling in the family Car would be the breadwinner and those who need to really vont, uh, take uh, place the position uh, of their parents' roles uh, will be severely or de la mostly affected. Et vont, et ses parents qui ont and uh, été, for the family uh, in which the father or the parents are uh, addicted to alcohol, then sont tombés dans the rest of the family member will Leur experience some psychological problems as uh, passed down from the habits of the parents. Transférés qui vont passer In des parents most, aux enfants. Uh, societies where there has been a serious conflict, there is also a rise in violence, particularly family-related violence. And you touched on that Et vous avez during the course of your um, le observations. Votre, uh, do you have any information uh, from research or from your own observations which enables you to comment on the level of violence, uh, including family-based violence, la violence, la violence in the contemporary familia, Cambodian society? Dans la société cambodienne de nos jours. Um, on Response. TPO, when it is intervening in the community, TPO intervient au sein de la communauté. We conducted the social context assessment. Mène une évaluation du and the reason for such assessment is to learn the problems within the community and the reason that de mieux connaître le contexte uh, de la communauté problems, ainsi que and les we would like to also understand the resources problèmes. and Nous the involvement in the origines. community and we have found that uh, environment dans lequel évolue family la based violence and Drinking habits uh, la violence domestique have been found uh, to be part of the problems in the community, uh, according to our research. And uh, there has been another research conducted uh, by the violent-based uh, uh, or domestic violence organization uh, to find out the uh, domestic Violence, which is on a rise. Violence domestique, cette violence domestique, il and this problem uh, is uh, est en dealt with constantly and on a, a regular basis by our NGO. Also. Le cadre du travail de notre ONG de you mentioned in et your um, opening comments Question. that Vous one of the policies in the Khmer Rouge regime was to separate families so that 
Uh, often children uh, no longer lived with their parents and were asked to do things such as spy on their parents that um, are not a normal part of family behavior. Have you seen any consequences of this separation of families uh, after the regime ended and family life de ce phénomène in the usual way resumed? Response. I have observed that children que les enfants have to live with their parents. Doivent children vivre need good care from parents. their parents, especially in Cambodian families. And uh, our condition is that uh, there is a morale in showing the respect to the senior people. But in the Khmer Rouge regime, children were separated from their family members and parents, and they were indoctrinated that they were the children of Anka, and they were no longer the children of their own parents. So children lost their identity. So there was an identity crisis because the children themselves did not know whether they belong to the Anka or belong to their parents. Si and that uh, we at that time were forced nous, époque, uh, to believe that the children were the sole property of the Anka. So children had to do whatever Anka asked them to do. À and Anka indoctrinated uh, children to uh, execute any kind of orders, including the order to execute uh, their parents. Uh, and children were educated uh, by way of cruel, uh, uh, by aggressive methods, for example. And uh, Cruel et agressive. Now, those children become the parents, parents of their children. Les de ces so, we can see that uh, the way they treated their children on peut voir is que the la same dont as the way they were treated back then in the regime bien, of the Khmer Rouge. Uh, so, this is the severe traumatizing uh, effect uh, on these uh, younger generation. De ce phénomène sur la Thank jeune you, Mr. President. Génération. I have no further questions of this uh, expert. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no further questions of this expert. The President, Le President Judge Laverne, you take Monsieur the Judge floor. Laverne, I ask you. Oui, bonjour, docteur. Judge Laverne, yes, uh, good morning, uh, doctor. I have a few questions to put to you. Vous nous avez you indiqué que said to us that uh, la population the Cambodian population, or in any case for 40% of de de the Cambodians aged more than 18 were experiencing post-traumatic post stress disorders. Vous avez dit and que notamment you parmi said ces troubles, that uh, certains, these disorders certaines uh, due to these disorders, de certain people could re-experience uh, in a recurring way what they had lived through, vécu, the trauma that they had lived through, exemple, that, for example, uh, they could have nightmares. Ce que je and savoir, what I would like to know est, par exemple, is what impact is the de, uh, impact comme celle que nous of such hearings as here today what is the impact nôtre, of a trial such as uh, ours à, uh, des uh, on de tels uh, the victims who are que chose showing qui such uh, trauma? Is it, is, it, is it something that is de, um, likely to worsen or trouble? to make the victims relive this trauma? Or is it, on the contrary, something that is uh, likely uh, to help the victims de, de um, overcome uh, their trauma? Response. Monsieur le juge, I would like to emphasize that uh, there are both two cases. 
the trial of the former leaders of the Khmer Rouge is an opportunity for Khmer the victims Rouge who had uh, suffered la une and who have been traumatized uh, for many years to overcome their traumatization through the justice they believe they will achieve from the court and through the truth they have or they will have heard from the parties to the proceeding et, um, in the hearings. So if uh, these trials proceeding are of justice, it will be very helpful to heal the wound, the suffering of those victims, although there will be several other steps uh, to help them overcome such uh, traumatization. And as I already indicated earlier on, the victims during the Khmer Rouge regime, some might have thought that uh, they might have not had any traumatic problems because they have been uh, working as usual. But this is the situation of uh, the unconsciousness because they were uh, they are unconscious of this uh, traumatization. And uh, regarding some clients of mine we have consulted with, they said that uh, their sufferings, uh, traumatization has uh, gradually healed. But having heard or having observed the proceedings of the tribunal's hearings, then the traumatization seemed to suite au but uh, I believe that these uh, proceedings, however, will be a step to heal this uh, traumatization. And our NGO is Et doing our best NG to educate them on the problems they have had in relation to the traumatization and we have uh, advised them not to feel fear and that we have our hotline telephone connection uh, for them to call in if they would uh, need our immediate assistant uh, or consultation. They can even pay a visit to our office uh, in person. So after this hearing, there will be some kind of impact also on their emotion that we have been prepared to handle it. Et suite à ces audiences, effectivement, il y aura un impact, mais nous sommes prêts à prendre en charge et à soutenir les personnes. Est-ce que l'une des particularités des traumatismes subis par les Cambodgiens ne tient pas au fait que Ces Is it, isn't it linked to the fact that this trauma can be related anonyme, to an anonymous, an an anonymous organization, which was known as ANCAR, that is to say, uh, an entity that did not have any identity, any kind of specific identity? Uh, que um, le fait que the fact on that uh, débattre we non seulement des faits, may discuss the facts, but also the identity or the personality of uh, this accused. Doesn't this create an image? Est-ce que ce genre well, de débat est de nature à favoriser également la prise en charge de ces troubles post-traumatiques? Uh, um, take care of this post-traumatic stress disorders. I cannot clearly understand a question. Please, uh, can you repeat the other question? Can you repeat it, please? It appears to me that one of the particularities 
des souffrances vécues par les Cambodgiens tient au fait que ces souffrances étaient imposées par une entité abstraite, ce que l'on appelle l'organisation ou l'ANCAR. Et je me posais la question, je voulais savoir si vous avez une réponse, la question de savoir si le fait que nous ayons des débats ou débattons non seulement précisément de faits que l'on reproche à un aussi de sa personnalité, si un tel débat, une telle connaissance qui permet de mettre un visage, qui permet de donner une dimension to human. give a human si dimension uh, to these events if that is of a nature such that it will enhance uh, the possibility si cela of treating post-traumatic uh, disorders. Peur, if, for instance, it is uh, possible in this way to remove fear because fear is, is due to, uh, partially due to ignorance, for instance. But, uh, some more Response. Um, Thank you, Judge, for the question. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Juge, pour cette question. This is a complicated uh, issue to provide appropriate uh, response when the, the psychological trauma can be dealt with effectively. Ainsi, uh, However, I would like to say that we know dire, during the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, they used the word Anka or Upper Anka, who issued orders, Upper Anka forced people to do this or that, and we did not know who Upper Anka was or who the leaders were. So it created an abstract system, and during the proceedings before this chamber, we heard the some former Khmer Rouge leaders who blames the upper Anka, who blames the people who we could not see, who were abstract. That is, they denied the responsibility of the crimes committed despite the fact that they held senior positions during the regime and that created more pain for the victims, that they could not face the deniability made by those people or the irresponsibility by those people. So the process of healing by this proceeding is entirely based on the willingness of the either the accused de la volonté, or other la people in order to reveal the truth, pour ce to qui est show de la vérité, and to uh, pour reveal ce those people behind the intangibility for the genocidal crimes committed during the Khmer Rouge regime. If this cannot be done, si cela the, psych ne se the psychological pas, wound inflicted upon the people could not be healed as witnessed by some of the civil parties who do not accept the apology because they do not think it is appropriate because it is not true. So the healing cannot be completed in that fashion. Although the testimonies of course can relieve themselves to a certain extent. Thank you. Alors, s'agissant de la prise en charge de, de ces troubles euh, qui sont considérables, d'après ce que vous avez décrit, vous nous dites qu'il y a euh, votre organisation qui offre la possibilité donc, euh, éventuellement de, de consultation. Of, uh, uh, mais votre centre, uh, si j'ai bien But compris, est basé uniquement à Phnom Penh. Vous pouvez nous donner d'autres explications. Et est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire, selon vous, quels sont les besoins réels pour une prise en charge complète de tels traumatismes à l'échelle d'un pays comme le Cambodge this type of disorder can be fully taken charge of. But, uh, 
the treatment of the post-traumatic disorders in Cambodia needs to be done jointly in cooperation with the various other institutions. institutions. The seeking for justice by the Ministry of Justice or other tribunals such as this one, in addition to the various educations concerning the genocidal regimes, need to be done temporarily with the treatment of the trauma. The provision by our TPO organization is one of the portions to help those victimized people from the Khmer Rouge regime. So there are, of course, needs to be involved by various institutions, including the chamber and other strategies that can be implemented to create a, a dialogue, apology, or acceptance of what happened. And these are in combination with the psychological assistance the people can be healed psychologically. Concrètement, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si euh, vous avez des liens avec les systèmes de santé qui existent au Cambodge, avec les hôpitaux, avec les dispensaires, et s'il y a des possibilités pour les victimes éventuellement de s'adresser non seulement à votre association, mais peut-être pour ceux qui sont plus éloignés à des, à des systèmes de, de soins, et quels sont les systèmes de soins qui sont accessibles Uh, giving structures and what sort of care uh, then is available to them. Uh, the psychological treatment service by the TPO is based in Phnom Penh and in certain other provinces, Bantambong, Bante Minche, Posat, and Kampong Thom. Besides the psychological service by TPO, there, there is also a psychological counseling service by the government within the Cambodian Soviet hospital and also at the Prakosoma hospital in Phnom Penh. In certain provinces, there are psychological services organized by by the government in the referral hospitals, for, ex for example, in Bosat, Bat Nam Bong, Monte Minche, Kampung Thom, Kampung Cham, Takeo, and also in certain other provinces. The, the service is provided by the general medical doctors, for example, in Kampung Chang and Kampot. Bonjour, merci, docteur, pour ces précisions. Je n'ai pas Thank de questions à poser l'expert, monsieur le Président. I have no further questions, Mr. President. The president. The chamber would like now to give the floor to the co-prosecutors to put questions to this expert witness if they so wish. The time allocation for the co-prosecutor is 15 minutes, Vous avez pour ce faire 15 if minutes. necessary. A request can be made to the chamber for additional time. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur President. Good morning, Doctor. Bonjour, Doctor. Generally speaking, people who experience générale, trauma during the Khmer Rouge regimes if they were forced to do hard labor and did not receive any positive uh, feedback or treatment in return, does that have tremendous impact 
on the development family-wise or social-wise. Previously, they were forced to work and receive nothing in return besides the fear and the threat. So what are the impacts on the development, social development and uh, family development? Response. Thank you for the question, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Let me go back a little bit. Some victims were the children of family members during that regime. But at the moment, after the family members or parents were killed by the Khmer Rouge, for instance, the parents were the breadwinners of the families, Or if we refer to the opportunities they lost by the death of their father or mother, they still hang on to the feeling that if the father or mother or relative members were still alive, they would not be in this hardship. And that type of feeling is still growing inside them, and, the, and it has impact on their daily thought has impact on their daily living in addition to their study. And this would have an overall impact or would downgrade the living standard of their family. Some, and as a result, they resorted to alcohol, to drinking, and that would lead to additional problems. For instance, the domestic violence and the development of the society. Based on the statistics that Professor Lee Young showed, amongst two people who had psychological impact amongst the five so people selected, this is a serious issue and a serious indication that people were tremendously impacted and traumatized. And this also has an impact on the social development or the development of the economics in the country. Additionally, the people who were the children during the Khmer Rouge regime, and now they are parents, and they have to educate their children, and they could only do that based on the way they experienced by their parents during the regime. And that would transmit the way of education to their baby, to their children. Based on the popular population survey, the people who are 20 years or under outweigh the number of people who are older than 20 years. So in 20 years' time, they would reach the age of 40, and they would be the core force, the catalyst of the economic development. And if they still have the psychological impact, how could that develop a country in a speedy way? And that would have an overall impact upon the country. Uh, Monsieur le Président, j'aurais encore uh, environ sept questions à poser uh, aux témoins, si vous le permettez. Et donc j'anticipe uh, uh, probablement un léger dépassement de temps. Ça dépend évidemment de la concision et de la précision des propos de Monsieur l'expert. Uh, vous me direz si vous m'autorisez à aller jusqu'au bout. Comme première question, Monsieur l'expert, pour les victimes qui se sont constituées partie civile et pour la société, Société cambodgienne en général, quelle est l'importance de leur participation active au procès en public devant la nation Est-ce que les autres victimes peuvent se reconnaître à travers la démarche de ces parties civiles Est-ce que ça, cela peut jouer le rôle de catharsis pour la société cambodgienne sans pour autant constituer la solution miracle a Cambodian society without, of course, being a miracle remedy. But um, response. 
as I have said uh, from the beginning, oui. this trial dit, is an opportunity for the victims, dérouler, pour les victims to receive information and the truth plus. searching Et, for the uh, crimes committed upon their relatives or upon them or other people. Vis -à -vis de leurs proches, de Therefore, it is an opportunity that they know pour eux and that they would learn de and that would help to relieve their traumatic feelings. And for those who have the opportunity to participate as a civil party and to provide a statement or testimony, it is a forum for them to express the feeling, the emotions that have been hidden for many years, to express them to the public, to let them know that in the Cambodian society, to let them know that the discussion or the chit-chatting during the Khmer Rouge regime did not occur either at a family level or at a social level. The study of the social or of the genocidal regime was not included in the curriculum, in the state curriculum. And people avoid talking about this issue. There seems to be a, a conspiracy of avoidance or a conspiracy of silence that they seem together not wish to express their feelings, to ignore the issues, but that avoidance does not happen. And therefore, the participation, the making of statements or the testimony in a certain way would help them. Thank you. My second question is the following. How can Selon you les déclarations explain, de nombreuses parties civiles according to the statements dans ce procès, qu'au lieu de diminuer trial, avec le temps, les souffrances liées à leur passé time, ou au passé de leurs proches ou la perte de leurs proches sous le régime du Kampuchea uh, démocratique uh, kin, semblent s'accroître uh, avec le temps uh, en même temps que leur colère. Et on a constaté que c'était notamment le cas des personnes qui étaient à l'extérieur du pays pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique et qui y ont perdu des proches, alors même qu'elles avaient accès à des soins psychologiques. Pensez-vous qu'il y a un transfert sur la partie civile de la peur et des souffrances que la partie civile imagine avoir été celle des défunts Response. Let me make it clear that the cultural issue, the religious belief, the customs and traditions which were eliminated by the Khmer Rouge are the one of the main causes. If they practice, would be help them to heal their psychological si trauma. Place, uh, I have already said that Cambodian people, when they suffer such trauma, Cambodians they try to find a way to explain, to seek meaning of what happened. And the meaning given to what happened by them could be essential to help them or to heal the wounds psychologically or alternatively the, the cycle of the trauma could be transmitted to the next generation. For the victims who reside overseas, it is difficult because they live far away from the practice, the customs, the tradition and the culture, all the events occurred in Cambodia.
So they seem to lose something, even if they live in a Western country, in a better living condition, or in a society which are secure and safe. But they lost their religious beliefs, traditions, foods, the ways of acting, the communication, the language, and all these combined together would prolong the wound and the suffering they have within themselves. For example, a client of mine whom I met in Sydney when I went on my study tour, he was living in a better living condition, but he still has the chronic suffering, and that could not be treated by the doctor over there because of no clear symptom of what happened. And, in fact, it was hard for him to, to pay homage to the religion, but upon his return to Cambodia, he... He held ceremonies to pray to the lost souls of his parents, and psychologically, he was relieved. And upon his return to his country, he was in a better condition. And this is evident of what happened for those who resided abroad. C'est donc un exemple d'expérience de quelqu'un qui est un Cambodgien de l'étranger. Monsieur l'expert. Parmi les uh, facteurs expert, qui peuvent aggraver le niveau de traumatisme enduré par les parties civiles et les victimes en général, on a pu constater lors We des différentes déclarations des parties civiles devant la Cour, il y en avait au moins un certain nombre, et vous me direz si vous êtes d'accord ou s'il y a d'autres facteurs qui peuvent entrer en ligne de compte. Je relèverai d'abord le type de mort subie par les proches, une mort violente au terme de détention S21, de torture, de manque de nourriture, etc. Uh, lack of food, etc. Le deuxième facteur serait l'ignorance des motifs be, uh, et des circonstances de la mort du proche. Il peut également y avoir un facteur de relevant de l'absence de rationalité entourant, entourant ces morts. Ce sont en quelque sorte des morts pour rien, pour une cause qui est injustifiable. Et enfin, les parties civiles ont relevé l'importance de l'absence de corps et de deuil dans ces souffrances. Est-ce que selon vous, tous ces facteurs sont effectivement des facteurs qui aggravent ce traumatisme Est-ce qu'il y en aurait d'autres But um, response, the factors, all the facts that they did not know the truth of what happened, are uh, one of the factors which prolongs their psychological suffering, the lack of service provision to the victim is another matter which also prolongs their trauma and suffering. At present in Cambodia, there are only 32 psychological experts. When I started my study, there were 10 of us in 94. And if you compare the limited number to the 14 million people who were traumatized or who lived through the regime, this service is minimal. In Cambodia, the psychological service is only provided to certain major provinces and not to the remote areas. And this survey is also minimal. It's only provided by a TPO and only a few organizations in a limited scope based on their budgetary limitation. Another factor which is also prolonging the trauma experienced by those people is that majority of the victims are living in a poor condition. The living standard is poor and 
they are busy dealing with their daily life. The difficulties, in addition to the suffering that they have been hidden inside them for so long, and the poor living condition is a factor for them to postpone seeking for the treatment of better service. Therefore, the trauma is still ongoing. In another case, it is a common factor that certain number of them, due to the poor standard of living, they are unable to hold religious ceremony to pay homage or to pray for the lost soul in a satisfactory way. And that factor is also important. C'est encore un facteur important. Je vous remercie. Tout à l'heure, vous avez évoqué rapidement l'absence de pardon exprimé par les partis civils. Je voudrais revenir là-dessus. Comment expliquer justement l'absence de pitié d'une part À part une seule partie civile, toute seule qu'on a entendue, n'ont pas exprimé de pitié vis-à-vis -vis de l'accusé, ainsi que l'absence totale de pardon vis-à-vis d'un accusé qui a pourtant coopéré et exprimé des regrets, du moins dans une certaine mesure. Faut-il donc d'abord que justice soit faite, que le verrou de l'impunité saute, avant d'envisager d'autres étapes peut-être vers l'acceptation d'excuses ou plus tard encore vers le pardon et la réconciliation Autrement dit, est-ce que nous sommes seulement au début d'un très long processus vers une réconciliation it is my opinion that we need to understand what are the needs of the victims. Before that, let me uh, verify certain issues. First, we need to know what are the causes of this uh, prolonged traumatic stress disorder. There are several factors. For instance, our brain, because the, the trauma also would change the chemical substance of the brains, the reflections, and the brain and the functions of the brain. Secondly, the meaning, the meaning, the word meaning, the meaning of the meaning that is given through the trauma they, they, the victims experience, what types of meaning they give to that trauma, and the third point is the need of the victims. What do they want? Is it the safety or the living condition? Or if maybe the living condition improves, then they would be better with a better feeling psychologically. And if they still believe that they would be in a better condition if their family's members did not die during that time. And the fourth point is the justice. And if justice can be sick and served, then the civil party would acknowledge it and that they would have the opportunity to give their forgiveness. And that forgiveness is a main key to open the door or to pave to a path for psychological heal. And if the forgiveness, in the absence of the forgiveness, it is difficult for the healing of the, the wound, of the psychological wound, and that would have an impact on the overall national reconciliation. Therefore, it is up to the willingness of both the accused and the civil parties, and we, all of us as a whole, to reveal the truth the truth that can be accepted by the victims. 
J'aurais deux dernières questions. I have, uh, two more questions. Euh, Monsieur l'expert, s'agissant de la uh, rencontre qui a lieu devant cette cour entre les victimes et les parties civiles, d'une part et l'accusé de part, pourriez-vous nous Could dire si un accusé, n'importe lequel, accused, no par ses paroles répétées, through his repeated de se placer lui aussi du côté des victimes et de partager ainsi leur souffrance of the victims and to share dans their quel suffering. état psychologique and in what les victimes ou les parties civiles peuvent-elles se retrouver can the face or à the civil ce brouillage des rôles when there is qui this pourrait leur faire croire that might que le bourreau est lui aussi une victime the executioner ou que les victimes victim, auraient pu également être des bourreaux quel est l'impact sur les parties civiles de ce type de discours the civil parties of this kind of shuffling but um, some organ to pose some more that responds it is a very important question il s'agit là d'une question extrêmement importante tpo made available the services in 2003, 2004 to assist both the victims and the accused. The services are seen in the consultation for the guards of the former S21 compound. And if you look back to the historical event, si uh, the time when the Khmer Rouge uh, made uh, those guards uh, become the et au moment où soldiers, les when they were 12 or 13 des, years old, uh, ont fait de they were abducted from their parents ans, and were put to parents, the battlefield to fight the enemies or to ils ont été be au put pour to stand on guard at the S21 facility and later on they, some of them were Ensuite, arrested and detained at the place where they had worked. So these people, at the beginning you could see that Donc, they become victims, but perpetrators ah, at the same time. Abord, so the victims turn perpetrators, the perpetrators turn de crime. victims. Les auteurs de crimes sont à leur tour, comme on peut le constater, so it is a kind of very complicating Il s'agit là d'un cercle complexe. And, uh, It is quite uh, difficult to understand uh, it also, although the civil parties claim that they were victims, but if you look back to um, the past event, uh, then we can understand more that si regarde ce qui passé. Uh, only if the past is well studied, then we can change our view in relation to the victims and perpetrators' si relation. On mieux le passé, on peut faire cette distinction entre les victimes et les bourreaux. According to the research, uh, many believe de, that the present perpetrator, perpetrators were the victims or are the victims des victimes, or the victims ou sont des victimes, perpetrators ou que les victimes sont passées dans les rangs des bourreaux. And I would like not to uh, tell Et more about this and I let um, plus, the court uh, consider the case. Je préfère m'en remettre à la chambre pour statuer sur cette distinction. Mr. Destroyer, une dernière question I, thank you very much. I have a last question, qui est étranger which is a question from someone who is a foreigner and who is not a Buddhist. A civil party de spoke to us about uh, entre the ses souffrances personnelles contradiction between his personal suffering karma. and the notion of karma. Mettant uh, également en relief une certaine opposition entre la justice des hommes et la justice de Bouddha. 
Pourriez-vous nous And éclairer là-dessus d'un point de vue psychologique Est-ce que, psychological du fait de la religion dominante dans ce pays, est-ce que le karma peut jouer un rôle can karma play a role dans because of the dominant religion in le fait qu'un certain can nombre karma de victimes n'osent pas in the fact that a certain number of victims un processus do not judiciaire dare devant la justice des hommes et préfèrent seulement s'en remettre à la justice de justice Dieu et donc just to rely aussi on ne pas justice and therefore lutter not to uh, fight as hard as they autre, could if they culture. would rely uh, if they were part of another culture. Response. I believe that the majority of Cambodian people who are Buddhists Buddhist. They are strong Buddhist followers. They believe in karma, they believe in toleration, and they believe that uh, revenge would not be a good option to cope with a problem. Une solution and au problème. Uh, we should also balance the notion of uh, karma and de karma uh, the notion of la notion justice of human beings. To find justice and to make sure that justice is well done, que justice soit rendue, it is important that the evidence is well presented and well accepted. Le de se fait, I believe that Cambodian people faits, who are Buddhists uh, are ready to passé. forgive Et what happened. Je pense because according to the religion, they have been religion, educated to be able to forgive, forget, to pardonner, à oublier, understand à karma, le karma and to be able to unite uh, and to live together in harmony after the problem and uh, when another religion is compared uh, to explain what happened uh, I think it depends on the individual view or notion as opposed to the theories of other religions to solve any particular problem. So it is an individual choice to choose another religion in order to interpret their suffering and religion de manière to heal their pouvoir y lire une nouvelle interprétation et pouvoir penser ses blessures. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur l'expert. Thank you very much for all of this clarification. Mr. President, I have no further questions. The president, uh, Le président will take the adjournment uh, for 17 minutes pause now. De 17 minutes. The court official Je is instructed to assist uh, the expert during the adjournment uh, and please call Monsieur him expert back to the courtroom when we resume. La reprise dans le prétoire. La greffière, mesdames et messieurs, veuillez vous lever.